uh, pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw. Of course, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw is uh, machine learning and basics ng machine learning. And uh, today, basically, uh, I'll try to motivate you kung bakit, uh, gagan, uh, bakit kailangan yung matutunan itong um itong topic na ito specifically so of course i've heard uh, i'm sure you've heard a lot about uh, machine learning especially in the past couple of years diba pero ang um, machine learning has been around for a very long time um yung technology na kailangan nga lang para i-develop yung code uh, ay uh, nagsimula lang uh, lumitaw nitong uh, Uh, 2000 after 2010 so yung uh, yung yung bilis ng chips yung uh, capacity ng mga um, chips ng mga computers okay, uh, has allowed us to uh, make uh, simulations uh, and uh, uh, code uh, machine learning uh, algorithms Okay, uh, in a much faster uh, way kumpara sa mga nakaraang taon. Mga previous na decades, in fact. Okay, uh, nowadays, um, mabilis nang magpatakbo ng machine learning codes. You can run a code in a few, from a few seconds kung very simple lang siya. To a few minutes kung, kung medyo a uh, little bit complicated to uh, to hours or uh, days. Depende sa kung ano yung data na ginagamit ninyo. Uh, we know, I'm sure that you're aware na merong um, machine learning uh, or artificial intelligence uh, na uh, ginagamit sa, for example, sa mga products na ginagamit sa mobile phone, like, uh, o hindi lang sa mobile phone, pati sa ano, uh, softwares. For example, sa Google, uh, ito na yung mga ginagam ginagamitan nila na, ito mga products nila na ginagamitan nila ng Artificial intelligence. It's a search, diba? and uh, some uh, Google Maps, uh, Google Pixel, yung kanilang uh, mobile device, uh, sa photos, uh, YouTube, uh, assistant Gmail, Ads Cloud, and then meron din sila nung uh, equivalent ng chat GPT, which is yung uh, Google, uh, Google Bard. Okay, so... Um, yon so meron din tayo alam natin yung chat gpt alam natin na merong google bard uh, meron ding microsoft bing uh, copilot ito naman yung dinevelop ng uh, microsoft then may cloud and then may perplexity okay so merong mga mga articles uh, na nilagyan nilagay dito na kung gusto ninyo kung interesado kayo matuto about these things uh, about how these things work okay so nandito yung mga articles na yan so when i send Isa-send ko tong slides na ito sa inyo. So just click on these links and um, uh, makikita nyo kung ano yung uh, mga ano, ano yung chat GPT, Bard, uh, Bing Copilot, Cloud, tsaka Perplexity, and so on and so forth. And makikita nyo kung ang comparison between them, advantages tsaka disadvantages. Ayan. And uh, I'm sure you've also heard about devices uh, na meron ng AI na embedded. Okay, like for example, itong Samsung Galaxy S24 series okay, uh, with, uh, with Galaxy AI. Okay, ay meron ng um, tawag dito AI uh, incorporated dun sa kanilang software. Hindi ko alam kung napanood niyo yung video but uh, there's this um, uh, uh, reel okay, na kung saan uh, Filipino pa nga siya. Eh. Uh, meron siya nung Samsung Galaxy S24 at ginamit niya yon para mag-book uh, ng uh, uh, reservation sa isang uh, restaurant sa Korea. So, nasa Korea siya. Okay? And uh, ginamitan niya ng uh, AI. Itong phone na ito, uh, nakipag-usap siya dun sa uh, uh, other end of the line okay? para magpa-reserve na. Yung nasa other end of the line, nagsasalita ng Korean at siya naman kasalita ng English. So, yung phone, yung nag-translate uh, for him at saka for, for, for her dun sa, dun sa nagpapareserve from English to Korean and Korean to English. Okay, so, merong language uh, translation uh, powered by AI, itong Galaxy uh, S24 uh, series. Okay, so, yan yung meron ngayon. 
and imagine niyo kung ano yung uh, mangyayari in the next uh, couple of uh, couple of years in the next few years di ba and it's uh, really uh, important uh, not just uh, uh, para sa inyo okay uh, but for everyone to understand yung extent o yung pwedeng uh, paggamitan nitong uh, AI, yung potential ng AI, uh, potential advantages at saka potential na uh, disadvantages. Uh, in the future, okay, um, tataas ang demand para sa mga uh, tao na merong knowledge about machine learning and AI, uh, regardless kung uh, anong field. Uh, in fact, kahit, uh, lahat ng fields ngayon ay Uh, naghahanap na sila ng uh, marunong sa machine learning, marunong mag-code uh, in Python specifically. Uh, and um, tawag dito, naintindihan kung ano yung uh, technologies uh, na nade-develop uh, in relation sa AI. Uh, kung gusto nyo pa rin in the future, kung gusto nyo pa rin mag-stick sa physics, maraming mga careers na nagre-require ng knowledge in physics at nagre-require din ng knowledge in machine learning. Okay, uh, so really, uh, a basic knowledge of all this stuff uh, will uh, get you will get you started. Okay, with uh, with a career uh, in uh, machine learning, uh, either na yun yung career nyo, full time na machine na, na data scientist, or uh, you use uh, your techniques ng machine learning. Uh, Uh, para sa kung ano man yung career nyo. If you want to be a scientist or, or, or kung ano man. Uh, I hope na uh, it's enough uh, motivation for you. Uh, but it's if it's not enough, then uh, ang tawag dito, uh, you can uh, read about it uh, sa, sa, sa internet. Okay, you can take a look at itong mga, ano, itong mga websites na ito sa, sa Google, sa Microsoft, kung ano mga technologies yung mga dinidevelop nila. Uh, uh, kung ano mga software yung dinadevelop nila para sa uh, na para ano tawag dito para mas lalo nyo maintindihan kung ano magiging implication nito sa buong mundo in the future and sa inyo personally uh, in the future.